Okay, folks, here's our 2003 F-150 Ford pickup with the uh, unit installed already. Finally got it done. I'm going to go over here to the door here and open up the truck. Open up the hood here in a moment. Over here we have our control unit, which I built this out of a, some scrap plastic I had. I'm going to go ahead and mount this in a uh, project box that I got at Radio Shack yesterday eventually. Uh, I just did this for the time being. Uh, I installed this last night and actually uh, ran to Walmart and back, which is about a 10 mile round trip from where I live at. And, and uh, noticed quite a bit of improvement on the uh, power of the vehicle, which really surprised me. Um, I didn't uh, expect that much difference in the power right away because the computer had a time to uh, recalibrate. Over here is our wiring going up to the control unit. You can see my inline fuse right here. And you got to have an inline fuse to protect your system. Let's go over here to under the hood. Over here. First we have our unit already mounted. We, we're, we're, using, uh, we're using a hose clamps right here. These hose clamps, uh, you can, th these are large hose clamps. You can get these like an industrial type clamps. Got my drain plug down here where it's easily accessible to uh, drain my unit. YouTube as you can see is right here to check my fluid level. It's full. Cap on the top here is your fill cap where you use a funnel to fill it and your power wires. Negative, positive and your exhaust line. Go across here, we follow the exhaust line and our wiring goes across to the unit here. And the wires go out through the fire through the fender well here to the power box. And down here our unit here goes to our bottom of our bubbler. This is our bubbler right here. And the bottom of the bubbler has a check valve going into it. And the unit's about half full on the fluid. I don't want to fill it much more than that. Kind of keep it that way. Got a quarter inch hose barb here in the top, the, the outlet of our bubbler coming across here. And if we follow it along here, there's our other check valve that's between the bubbler and the uh, intake connection. I always use a check valve between both connections. I usually include one with the unit but you know if you want to get an extra one that's fine and you can, and your unit comes with 3 eighths line I use quarter inch on mine you can use either one and here's our barb fitting now you can see that a little better I drilled a hole in here and tapped into my intake tube and connected my line right here down on the bottom I don't know if you can see that very well but I'll give you a shot of that there's our O2 extender on our driver's side with our O2 extender o oxygen sensor uh, extended out and I bought these off eBay and I don't think you can see the one over here too well but it's down at the bottom. This is a V6 so it's got two extenders two, ex two sensors I mean. You want to make sure that if your vehicle has two oxygen sensors to, to make sure that you put them before the catalytic converter. Don't put the, put it on the ones that are after the catalytic converter because it won't work. It won't serve your purpose. These here up are on the exhaust manifold as you can see over here I'm again on the driver's side. There's a good shot of that right there. Now the way this uh, these oxygen sensor extenders work they pull the oxygen sensors further away from the exhaust to uh, how I would say this uh, read less oxygen and when it reads less oxygen it means that it's telling the computer that it's running too rich and it leans out the fuel and then of course your line coming in here which your HHO gas will compensate for the lean running of the engine itself it will actually burn this fuel as a fuel